Welcome to another episode of My Dirty Pantry and another Monday. Man, am I feeling it. It is a Monday for sure. But thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Make sure you tell a friend. Hit subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it. But basically, we cover your alternative rock and rock news and the latest information when it comes to that. So let's just get it started. Kids here in Nirvana for the first time. If you're into band documentaries, there's one that you might want to see. And the band just extended their tour, so let's just get right into it. Fine Brothers Entertainment, you might know them by their videos on YouTube that usually trend and explode with Kids React. So basically they get a group of kids, usually between the ages of like 8 and 13, and they have them react to things like movies, candy, music, toys, video games, even sometimes clothing, which they did one on Jinko Jeans, and I am a firm believer that they are the greatest thing ever. I really hope they come back, but I'll put that off to the side. Sorry, getting off my soapbox. Yeah, they did a video yesterday. Kids react to Nirvana, listening to Nirvana for the first time, and I'm gonna go with, overall, they liked it. That's just my opinion. Make sure you watch it for yourself. It's about 11 minutes long, but it doesn't feel like 11 minutes. I'll make sure to link it up in the description box down below. But they did tell them about the death of Kurt Cobain. They did go through maybe about like, I want to say about five or six songs and a lot of mixed reactions. But overall, I think it was positive. So there is hope for good music in the future. Just putting it out there. If you're into band documentaries or documentaries at all, check this one out. Now, the trailers, it looks good. Spotify is producing and presenting Green Day the early years. The documentary is going to cover from the start of the band all the way to the success of Dookie. So, from the trailers, and I am a sucker for the trailers. Trust me, if a trailer looks good, I'm going to say, oh, this, this movie is going to be fantastic. So, from the trailers, the movie does look like it's going to be fantastic. If you haven't seen them, make sure you check out the trailers and let me know what you think. But it brings up a good question. Now, if a band or musician were to make a documentary, who would you see? Who would you like to see make a documentary? I actually asked you on Facebook, but make sure you comment down below. And let's read some of these comments. All right, so we got... Charles that says you probably know what I'm gonna say. I know he is a huge Clutch fan, so I agree Clutch should do a documentary Tim says the Black Keys Jorge says uh the gorillas maybe <laughs> Yes, the gorillas definitely should that would be a really good one especially because they have so many things happening right now their festival new music their album dropping touring I mean that would be a great, it would be perfect timing for the gorillas to do a documentary. Uh, Michael says, Trapped in Pants, which is actually pretty funny. So, side note, Trapped in Pants was a band in Fargo that I played the bongos in. My buddy Sparks did the guitar, my buddy Gunnar did another guitar. We had like five guitars, or five guitarists in the band, so um, it was interesting. I wonder if I still have that video of us playing. Anyways, that would be embarrassing. Uh, Mike says Prime is. Totally agree with that, man. Journey says Jimi Hendrix. Actually, there's a couple of Jimi Hendrix in here. Um, Dave says Paramore. So yeah, man, make sure you comment down below. Who do you think should come out with a documentary? Who would you like to see come out with a documentary? I would like to hear from you. Make sure you comment down below. And uh, yeah, let's talk about it. And this band just extended their tour. Actually, today it was just announced that they are extending their tour uh, from spring all the way until summer. They're going to kick it off in New York, New York, and end it in Denver, Colorado. I'm talking about Wilco. And make sure you find those uh, tour dates right here, probably listing, listing on my face. That sounds so bad. <laughs> But it should be listing right here, if all goes well. But I uh, will go, I've never seen them live, but I heard that they are um, one of the bands that you should see live. It should be on your bucket list. So, I haven't seen them. They're a good band. No hate. They're not my favorite band, but they're not the worst band ever. So, yeah, <laughs> check them out. That is it for my 
my dirty banter. Hopefully you had a great Monday and uh, survived this episode. Man, because I don't know if I, I almost didn't survive this episode. It was a rough one. But hopefully Thursdays will go smoother. Make sure you comment down below with a band or musician that you would like to see a documentary from. Um, really, really interested. Or even uh, one of your favorite documentaries to watch because I'm always watching documentaries and if you have one that you recommend, throw it out there. Just comment down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you Thursday.